All right, guys, so uh, I got some very exciting information to tell you guys. I probably should have adjusted my microphone because it's kind of windy and we are on the Surround, which makes a lot of noise. And we're also probably going to be doing like 50 miles an hour or so roughly on this trip. Uh, I was going to bring the Rev 1 because the information that I have to tell you guys is about the Rev 1. So just yesterday, the motor 72 volt came for the Rev 1. Now, before you guys say, does it fit? Have you got it running? No, we're not even close. It literally just came in right before I was leaving for work the other day, but I wanted to shoot a different video. So that's why I'm talking about it now. And I had already charged the Suron. So I figured why not just take the Suron? It's been a long time and I know I got a lot of Suron fans, just like I have Onyx fans out there. So um, that's why I kind of mix it up and stuff. But I, I understand, I should have, I should have took the Rev 1 just because that's what we're talking about in today's video but super exciting nonetheless and uh, I can't wait so I have some digital calibers and they only go up to 155 millimeter right so I was like okay so when I started measuring the back wheel I was like obviously it wasn't 150 it's longer than that so then I went to my Super 73 and measured that and I noticed that even though it only goes up to 155 on my digital calibers, the Super 73 RX was absolutely way, way more uh, longer than the Rev 1. So since it's not 150, your only other option is 170 or I believe 175, uh, 150, 170 to 175, and then 190 is your options. And that's pretty damn clean. I like that. That's dope. And so anyway, so I got the 170 to 175. I got it on Amazon. Um, it wasn't cheap. I got the whole kit. So I got the nice color display. Which, hold on, did I even bring? Okay, I did bring my wallet. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm all trying to think while I'm going to work. Did I bring all my stuff? Because I was kind of rushing out of the door. That's another reason why we're taking the fast bike so we get there uh, quicker. But I do want to take a little detour because, you know, I want to show some different routes going back to work so it's not all the same stuff, you know. Anyways. I'm hoping the kit fits and oh, what the hell did I run over? God dang it! <laughs> no flats around here. Come on now. Um, it's going to be a while before I get to it, to be straight up honest with you guys. I have no idea when I'll get to it. I do have a vacation coming up, so who the hell's honking? I thought someone was honking at me. So um, I do have a vacation coming up and I'm hoping on during my vacation, I do want to go out of town. I would love to bring this bike or bring another bike and put it in my car and go like to the beach or I kind of want to go to my hometown, which is um, Lamore. I felt like going over there and just kind of riding and uh, showing you guys like kind of where I grew up and just for myself, I haven't been to Lamore in Man, it's been a long time, man. Ever since my uh, grandma died, I have not been to Lamore. So I figured it'd be kind of cool to do some stuff like that, but I also, on my vacation, would love to try to get the Rev 1 complete, get the motor in there, and then, once the motor's in there, we can try to uh, hook up the controller, and then I can see, if possible, if I can take the battery off the Zeus. I think that's the only 72 volt battery I got other than this one on here, and I'm not gonna take my Super 73 apart because that's just gonna be too much work and wiring and all that kind of stuff for all the, the turn signals and the brake lights and all I'm not doing I'm not doing all that. But I might hit up Powerful Lithium once we find out if it's like currently working, you know. Uh, we'll kind of ghetto hook it up and everything, make sure everything's turning and bolted down and see if we gotta grind anything. And then Powerful Lithium will make us the battery and then hopefully they'll be done with it in like a couple weeks, hopefully less than a month. And then we'll put the battery on the bottom of the basket that you can buy from uh, Rev1 with the storage center rack or whatever you want, the cage. And then on top of that, we'll put the controller on top of that battery. And I think that should be good to cover the whole entire um, storage basket stuff. I think that'll be perfect. So we don't need a custom enclosure or anything like that because we got the basket. So I think that's seriously all we need. I don't know, we'll see though. It's gonna be a project, just like the Super 73. It's not gonna be one video. It's probably gonna be like five parts, kind of like the Super 73 was. <laughs> so we'll, we'll have to see how it goes. I'm very excited though. Um, back to what I was saying, I think I got a little sidetracked. 
but it was a thousand dollars. Oh, that kid fell. And the reason why is because I got the nice 3.5 color display, the same one that the Super 73 is running. Obviously, a 5,000 watt hub motor, not the 3,000 watt. And then I also got the Sabaton 72 to 1, 72 100 controller, which basically means 72 volt, 100 amp controller. That's basically what that is. So um, it's a nice kit. It's not a cheap kit. Thousand bucks on Amazon. I'm not affiliated with Amazon or anything like that. I could put a link down in the description, but I mean, you can buy it if you want. But since I haven't test fitted anything or done a video on it at all, then I would not buy it yet. But I would highly suggest go to my Instagram page at Mr. Central Driver. Follow me on there because I post up pictures and you'll see all the latest content before I post it up on YouTube. Obviously, you're not going to get a whole YouTube video on my Instagram, but like I post up like what I'm doing. So like I got the 72 volt kit. You'll see the first day that I got it in and then you'll get an idea like when I shot this video, you know, for example. Um, but the cool thing is you'll get updates. So if you guys really want to know if that fits or not, which I'm going to beat this traffic, then go to my Instagram and I'll post up there first. And uh, the video will probably come out. And normally it's like a week behind. I'm normally about like five to seven days behind after I shoot a video until it's like up on YouTube. Um, some other updates. We've been talking to uh, Frigo. Now Frigo was supposed to send me uh, the F3. It's coming out. It's actually not completely out yet. And Cameron, please go because this light is red and it's gonna turn green. I don't want it to speed past you. Come on now. All right, I think we're gonna make it. We're good now, we're good. All right, I'm not tripping now. I was tripping before. I don't wanna miss this green light. I'm rushing to work already. Um, anyways, they were gonna send us the F3, the shotgun. I think that's what it is. Everyone else reviewed it. I think Dylan Thompson, uh, I think Shreddy got it. Some other people got it. Um, but I didn't really wanna review the F2. I really wanted to do the F3 and no one has got the F3 yet. I wanted to be on top of the trend, you know, like kind of like the, the ride one up the rev one i really wanted to be on that trend of like hey this is a new bike coming out so hopefully they're still cool with sending me the f3 after sending me the f2 whenever the f3 is available you can buy the f3 right now from frigo but apparently they're not shipping them out so i have no idea what's going on with that but i am excited to review it because it looks like a very promising bike and you guys already know by the end of the day, uh, once I'm done with it, I'll take it to work one time, I'll review it one time, and then I'll probably get rid of it. I don't think I'm gonna do anything to that bike because we already got too much stuff going on. We got the um, the Rumble Motors Apex. I've said it in many videos past, if you guys haven't known. Uh, the dual motor, dual battery setup from them. Uh, we got the Spark Bandit coming. I don't know if they shipped it out or not. They were boxing it up like a week ago, last that I checked. So not 100% sure on that. And then uh, what else? Oh, and then the other bike that's from like, it's not Rev, but it's like R-A-E-V. I don't know. It, it's different to like say, so I don't actually know how to pronounce the name of it, but I love it. It looks pretty badass and um, I'm excited for that one too. So we got a lot of stuff coming. It's just, it's taken a little bit to come. And then if we start this uh, project with the Rev 1, it's really gonna be, uh, we gonna be busy, especially on my vacation, but I don't really wanna spend my whole entire vacation doing you know, videos every single day. So I'm probably just gonna do a few of them. My main goal by the end of my vacation is just at least getting the motor in the Rev 1. Once that's in there, maybe we'll have one or two parts to it. Once that's done, I would, I, I would love to hook up a battery to it, but if I can't, cause I don't have a battery that has that connection or an adapter, then We'll just get everything mocked up and then wait for the battery from Powerful Lithium. That's the only thing I can really do. But uh, that's really just what I want to finish on my vacation and then do the F2 review if it comes in time. The Spark Bandit, not 100% sure. I also have suspension coming for this bike. Um, I don't know when it's coming, to be honest with you guys. It's from Fast Ace. And uh, I heard it's coming on like the newer Surons and stuff like that, so... It's supposed to be better than what I currently have, and I got a new headset from, uh, is it Crane? I got it from Luna Cycles, so we'll see how that is, but uh, I don't know. I've seen a lot of people that change out their, um, their forks. They had to go to the bike shop and change out the headset, but since I bought one, I'm hoping I don't have to do that. 
But there is a main barrier at the bottom and I don't know if my headset comes with that or not, but if it doesn't come with that barrier, I'm probably gonna have to go to the bike shop. That's another thing. I mean, that's a lot of work to take all these lights and stuff up. I'm, I'm pedaling, by the way. Might as well. You guys, you guys can't tell, but I'm pedaling. Why not pedal in traffic? And if you guys want an idea how fast I'm going, about like 55-ish. This road's about 50. Everyone seems to be going over 50 because I can kind of tell with this bike. Um, I do got a slight lump in the front. I don't know if it's a suspension or if it's the tire because I have not aired these tires up in a very, very long time. And you know, with the weather change and your bike's just kind of sitting there, you definitely need to be on the safe side and check them. The good thing is I did have a flat on this one time and it's three PSI and it held up. That wasn't very good to go fast, but I mean, it held up. So you can't complain. I pedal through the intersection, why not? That'd be funny. I want to do some crazy shit right now. Bye truck, bye truck. I'm gonna pedal past all these people. Bye man. Oh, I'm getting a lot of wind draft. I feel like the front end wants to just pick up on me. Little sketch, little sketch. Man, we're already here. I forgot how fast the Suron is. Holy crap, I'm already at work. Absolutely insane. And I'm very aerodynamic. I got my full face helmet on, super light. I got my visor down. And I also have my uh, VR46 motorcycle leather jacket on. So it's very uh, aerodynamic compared to my other stuff that kind of flaps in the wind and whatnot. The only thing that's not aerodynamic is my jeans right now, but it's, it's all right. What's up, guys? Good, good. And we came in the store hot. I hope today is a good day. And in about five seconds, you're gonna find out if I had a good or bad day. And then when we get back to the house really quick, um, if you wanna stay to the end or skip forward right now, I'll show you the motor kit in the box so you guys can get an idea of kind of how it looks. But it's very similar to the Super 73 motor kit. But if you guys wanna look at it for the Rev 1 for a future update and what's gonna come, then stick around to the end. See you guys in a sec. Right, See ya. Later. Enjoy the ride. Yeah, hopefully I don't get ran over. 10 hours down again. And you guys love these work rides. You know what? Let's just go this way, baby. I was gonna go down the other way, but we gotta switch it up. You know how we do. Um, I still did not change any of the audio settings, so it probably still sounds a little muffled, but we'll get to it one of these days, all right? I promise, I promise. I just gotta remember when I take this, it's bike's a little louder. But, um, Going back to what I said about 10 hours ago, it's always hard to try to like think about like what I said, but I knew I was gonna talk about work and stuff like that. And yeah, so we had about two people call in. Uh, we had another person go home early. Actually, we had three, I'm sorry, we had three people go home. Uh, three, three people call out, one person go home, but we did have another person covered from another store. They weren't the greatest, but I understand. They're not from our store, so it is what it is. A lot of stuff did not get done. But hey, today is my Friday. I got the next two days off. I'm probably, hopefully going to uh, kind of look at the Rev 1, maybe mess with it a little bit. Um, I'm probably gonna take one other full day off, just kind of do some laundry and cleaning and stuff like that. And uh, just kind of enjoy my, my day off. But man, our channel has been uh, blowing up. I will say that. Definitely uh, been kicking into overdrive lately. I think uh, our subscriber count has almost, if not already, passed Dylan Thompson. I can't, I'm not sure. Like, I don't want to be a liar or anything like that, but I'm pretty positive it is, like, close. Or we are past it. We're at, like, 18,400, I believe. All right, now that I can think, um, one thing I did want to talk about is I did get a package from Milk Racing. I talked about it back in January. This is something I wanted to bring up on today's video is uh, I also talked about it in my uh, my garage tour video as well. And I still have not put that on this bike yet. So I want to do a top speed test again with a 42 sprocket. Because the lowest I ever did my test on, if I'm not mistaken, was a 42, I think. Or maybe it's a 44. I'm sorry, it might have been a 44. Because right now I think I'm on a 48. And the 48 is what's on the Suron stock. But I think I had a 44 on there because when you get the the 17 inch wheels, I believe that's what it comes with. So I want to go down to 40. 
I still haven't forgot about it, but I know I said it back in January that I was going to do it. And I just, honestly, <laughs> it's not like I forgot, but it's just taking the wheel off and doing all the work and stuff like that. I just have not got to it. But if we're going to start messing around with these bikes and taking them apart like the Rev 1, I really need to get this done. So uh, that's something I really want to do. And I apologize if I already had said that. Oh my god, I love this bike. I love it. Now I should not be going this fast. Um, <laughs> oh man, well, we're going pretty fast. I don't have my speedometer and there is a cop right there. So uh, let's see if we get pulled over. There's actually two cops. So let me put my uh, my visor, my not my, my mirror out. I don't know. It could be all bad for us. Who knows? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I got the RGB lights on my helmet. I got RGB lights all underneath this bike. So uh, it's, a, it's an attention grabber for sure. And there's a lot of people on their bikes today too. They're not electric, but people are out riding their bikes. 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> 12 in the morning, I guess I should say. It's pretty cool. I still can't tell if there's cops behind me. There's just one set of lights behind me but they're kind of back there but i just can't tell what they are and it's really hard when i have my motorcycle jacket on oh okay it's not it's definitely not everyone's gone everyone turned on the freeway or left me it's just me but yeah man this motorcycle jacket makes it very hard for my neck to turn so doing videos in this thing is not ideal i can make it work but it always hits my microphone or my gopro and then it moves my helmet it just really makes your body stiff which is very good you know, if you're just riding, you're not doing anything crazy, but I've already broken it in. I've had this jacket for the longest time. Super nice, but I don't recommend it for 600 bucks. I would probably recommend something from like Beyond Riders or something like that, which uh, I believe they just came out with some new pants the other day. They hit me up. I don't know if we're going to review them or not. I really don't think we're going to review them. Um, I love the products, don't get me wrong, but it's really hard when I'm super busy to do all these reviews. And why are you just sitting there, bro? Why are you just sitting there? All right, and then you're gonna get in the lane that I'm in. Uh, I wanna go around you, but I have a feeling you're just gonna like step on the gas because you don't really know what, what you're doing. Like who sits at a four-way stop that long and then goes into this lane right off the bat? I don't know, man, I don't know, I don't get it. But um, another thing I want to bring up really quick is if you guys haven't joined already, and this is mostly for the people that are local to us or that are actually going to come down and do like group rides with us and stuff. I'll be honest though, I can't make like 90% of them. But you guys can come down uh, Fresno Eskate and uh, you guys can join us and whatnot. That'd be pretty cool. So it's Fresno Eskate on a Facebook group. And you guys can hang out and see all the stuff. I post all my bikes and skateboards for sale in that thing too. So if you're like in California, uh, you should think about joining it. But, you know, make sure you do have like a picture of your face. Maybe you have a picture on your uh, profile that has like a picture of a bike, skateboard, unicycle, whatever you have. Because we don't accept a lot of people. Like if you're like from New York, we're probably not going to accept someone that far just because it's mostly like a local thing or kind of like close to fresno if you understand what i'm saying um but it'd be cool if uh, more people join i think it's crazy when i first started this channel and i started mentioning it i didn't even know about it if i'm not mistaken i think there was like 40 or 60 people somewhere around there in the group i think we're at like a hundred and something i just realized this was a uh, type r in front of me type r's are dope I wouldn't pay no Type R money. Hell no. The new Type R is like... <laughs> the markups on them are ridiculous, man. Forget it, dude. I would never... Uh, I'd never pay that price. You know what I'm starting to think? Is that a lot of people think that... Uh, I'm a cop. Because the lights on my helmet are blue. Now, they're not flashing red and blue... But I think that's why a lot of people are skeptical when I'm either behind them or um, when that car was stopped at a four-way stop. I, I get it now. That makes sense. All right. Uh, I'm starting to get it now. But um, anyways, I, oh, another thing. That's, I was supposed to do a video on these lights on this helmet too. That's something I've been wanting to get to also. And the fact that we don't have any e-bikes coming other than the, the F2 that's coming. 
Um, I should have enough time with my vacation. I don't know. I, I really want to get to that Rev 1 though. And I know you guys want to see that before anything. So we might have to skip out on the helmet review. Uh, but I would like to do this because I need to change the chain out and all this stuff. It's been a long time. But anyways, I'm home guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Wait, 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 hold on. Do not go anywhere. I totally forgot to show you guys the motor kit. Now, it looks very similar to the Super 73 motor kit we did um, in this box really quick. Um, the display is gonna be in here. You're gonna have like your brake cables and then your wiring harness. You got your grip, which I hate these things. These things are, these things are nasty. The biggest thing you wanna see though, is after I get some of this styrofoam out and all this kind of stuff. This is the controller, by the way. Let me show you this before we uh, get to that. So this is a Sabaton controller. I don't want to pull it all the way out just because we're not going to be doing this yet. But um, anyway, this is a uh, 72100 controller. It has a really cheap bracket on it as well. But like I said, I think we're just going to sit. Oh, it got bent. That's why it got bent a little bit. Um, I think we're just going to sit this on top of the battery. I need to see if this fits in the basket. The basket's back there. So maybe we'll have to do that real quick. Um, but really, really quick before that, here's the motor. Now, this is a very, very big motor. It says it right here, 72 NBP, 5,000 watt, 175 millimeter. Then it just has a bunch of like part numbers right there. But nice wheel. It should hopefully fit. I'm praying to God it fits. Um, but... I want to do that. I want to see if this controller fits or how it's going to look. So let me grab this really quick for the Rev 1. Now the basket on it does sit like this because this side is on the back side of the Rev 1. So if I take these off, it's a little hard to take it off when uh, it's not sitting there. But okay. Obviously we have this stuff on it. You know what? I'll just take it out. Oh, wait, never mind. It's kind of stuck in there unless I get a uh, razor blade. But anyways... Yeah, that will definitely fit on there because this is adding a ton of stuff. So maybe this will give you a better idea. So that's how it's going to sit. I'm thinking the best option is this way. So see how we have these holes right here? This can go right here. If I need to, I can drill like two holes right here and bolt it down with some bolts. And then you have this whole bottom piece, which I know this isn't looking too hot right now with the GoPro. But look, it got all this extra space to put a battery that go from here to here. I'm thinking you could probably get a 32 amp hour battery in here, maybe 30 amp hour battery. Or another thing is you can put this on top of the Rev 1 where the stock battery would go and just sit it right there and maybe zip tie it, Velcro it or something like that. But I think I want everything in here and use a stock battery. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. All right, now I'll let you guys go. Sorry for uh, the last minute thing. I totally forgot what I said earlier in the video. Like I said, 10 hours passes and you just kind of forget a lot of stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace out.